so my wife and I recently completed a project involving some IKEA um, PAX wardrobes, and then I posted it in a subreddit called IKEA Hacks, um, which I recommend checking out. There's lots of cool stuff in there from uh, different people. IKEA Hacks is basically where you take an existing IKEA item and then you augment it or uh, you know, modify it in some way to either enhance it or, or make it cooler or what have you. So. Anyways, I highly recommend checking it out. So I posted the photo in there. Uh, some people really dug it and there were some questions about it. And I figured it'd be easier rather than just answering and typing it out like an asshole. I could just do a video and then show you in person uh, or show you via video uh, what exactly it looks like. Okay, so you might ask me, well, hey, why didn't you film it from before and after? Or you could have done like a cool time lapse or progression, uh, uh, you know, video of as you completed the project. Why didn't you do that? That's a very good question, but I've got a very good answer for that. And the reason why I didn't do that is because I'm a fucking idiot. And I didn't think of doing that, which I should have, but I didn't. So maybe in the future I will. Uh, we'll see. I apologize. Don't hit the thumbs down. I need these likes. I need these likes like they're air or water. All right, so these are the built-ins. Obviously the two biggest components set to this project are the two packs um, wardrobe systems that we have on either side. Uh, there's really two things that make this an Ikea hack uh, or a project really uh, that differentiate it from just being two packs wardrobes uh, in, in the bedroom is, is that it's framed in at the top or trimmed in at the top rather uh, and the bottom. And then we've got these three shelves in between the two units. So starting with the tops, um, basically what we would do is we took, bought some like uh, one by two like strapping. This is MDF, this isn't what we used, but uh, just for demonstration purposes. And you, you screw this into the ceiling kind of parallel to the perimeter of the, uh, the outline of the packs itself. And then that way there was something uh, to mount the MDF uh, trim facing uh, onto. And we would do that with this, I, I use this Ryobi uh, Brad Nailer. It's battery powered. You don't need an air compressor. I really like this thing. It was cheap and I don't know. I've done a ton of baseboards and a ton of uh, projects kind of like this with it. And it works awesome. Highly recommend it. Anyways, um, and then you would add in uh, like some additional piece of trim there just to fancy it up a little bit at the top. Kind of like so. And... Um, and that's more or less how it was at the top. At the bottom is pretty much the same thing, just on the floor. As far as the three shelves go, it was uh, fairly straightforward as well. I cut to some MDF strips into about uh, three quarter inch wide uh, strips, and then you just cut them to length uh, for each uh, side, uh, and screw them into the sides of the uh, PAX unit and the back wall. And then basically just cut some MDF, uh, get some MDF pieces uh, cut for the shelves themselves, and they just kind of rest on top and then you can uh, mount them in uh, um, with some screws or nails and then uh, caulk it all in, paint it, and that's, uh, that's more or less how that works. And then along the front here you can see you just added some MDF pieces there uh, as well, just kind of like, like so, like that. And that's more or less, that's really the story of the whole thing. It's, it's not that complicated. It's uh, mostly just uh, some MDF trim work Having a, a good uh, nailer really, really helps. A table saw also, um, but that, that's more or less it. If you've got those tools in your house, then it's, it's definitely a project that's, that's doable. We really like it because our house is small, the closets are tiny, and this ad is like just adds a ton of room for, for my wife's uh, clothes. Uh, some people have remarked that the TV is a little bit uh, small. Um, I suppose maybe it is. We don't really watch a whole lot of TV in the bedroom as somebody else I think maybe noted in the Reddit uh, comments. It's not great for you to be watching TV in bed anyways. It's more for my wife's pregnant and maybe when she's nursing after the baby's born, uh, you know, she'll be able to lounge around in here during the day and, and, and still be able to watch some Netflix. It's 32 inches. Like uh, that's actually you know, an average size TV or like maybe even slightly above average. Um, so it's actually a pretty big TV. Like maybe it doesn't look that big, but it's certainly big enough. And it's all, it's all what you do with it, right? Like, I mean, a bigger TV in this instance, it actually wouldn't even fit right. It would probably be pretty awkward Some in there. people prefer actually having a smaller TV. Like most people are actually 
really thought my TV was nice and thought it was, you know, plenty of size. So, I mean, haters gonna hate, right? And I'm not, I'm not shook by that. So, so those are the IKEA built-ins. I apologize again that I didn't document it before and after the building of. I just did this kind of crappy uh, after the fact demonstration that was mostly useless, but. It gives you maybe a better idea than just the photo I posted, so I hope it was some kind of help or maybe inspires you to do something of your own. If you have any questions about it, maybe I can answer them and ask them in the comments below. Hit the like button or don't. Maybe you didn't like it, and that's fair because there was this wasn't that great. I, like I said before, uh, I regret not filming this in progress, but oh well. Um, hit the subscribe button maybe. Or don't, maybe these, maybe I've only got 38 subscribers because my content's really, you know what I mean? So, but above all else, please do me a giant favor and just have a great day.